Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm finally over my cold and I'm feeling so much better, thank goodness. So before we get on with this week's plan with me, I've got two new releases that have just come into my shop today. So the first one is this checklist here. So they are pre-written checklists, which are going to be good if you are a student or if you're a mum of a student like I am. I tend to write the same checklist every Sunday to get everything ready for my children's like next day at school. So I thought I would just come out with some pop-it checklists. One is multicolored and then one is more of a gray theme. So hopefully they'll go in most of your spreads. The next one is this laptop poppet sheet right here. There's kind of a mixture in here. There's ones from when your laptop maybe is broken, ones when you're half asleep doing work. So they again, good if you are a student or if you're in an online class or you work from home, basically any situation you've got where you need a laptop, there's a poppet for it. So they are my two new releases. And for this week's kit, I'm using one from Paper Chic Plans, which is one of my favorite shops. And it's actually a mini kit and it's called Boo. Um, I'm going to leave the link down below in the description box as I always do and that way you guys can go out and check out her shop because actually she is really lovely. This is also the freebie that came with the kit as well. So there's no headers in here and no checklist obviously as it's a mini kit so I've decided I'm going to pull in a little bit of washi that way I can have some just to cover up the date dots along the top because they don't go with this week's spread. So this is the washi that I decided it's black glitter with some silver stars on there so I thought it would go nicely with the kit. So I'm just using this washi, like I said, just to cover the date dots at the top, and then I'm just trimming it down to size with my craft knife and with my hobby craft card. My next door neighbor is also cutting their grass. So if you hear like a weird humming sound, that's what it is. So we're gonna go in day by day and she has included a load of these kind of glitter headers. So I'm gonna be using those as headers. I'm just gonna alternate them between the gold and the black. So I'm going to start with a piece of washi and a half box on top and then I decided to put two pieces of washi just so it didn't look top heavy and then I just wrote upload plan with me and I used one of my new laptop poppets with it balancing on his head and he's kind of happy. Then I put down a grey quarter box and on top of that I used the laptop sticker that came on her freebie sheet and I just put down work because I'm feeling so much better. I'm really excited to get back into designing new stickers so I'm going to be doing that all morning so to block off a chunk of time I just put the next black glitter header down and then a really pretty full box. I love all the full boxes in this kit, they are just really pretty. Then I just used a couple of page flags to mark down the things that I had to do which was laundry because I never seem to not do laundry in my life. So I put the laundry sticker down there from the Pop It Home Life sheet and I also need to clean my brushes and I love that her kits always come with this sticker that say clean makeup brushes because I always forget so it's a really good thing to mark down in my planner. And then for Tuesday, like I say, I'm just alternating the headers, so I went with the black glitter header and I also put an appointment label down because I wanted to have a quick tidy up in the morning because I'm going to be out all day. So I took the poppet from the home life sheet again, which has got the little brush and dustpan, and just wrote down that I was going to have a quick tidy up. So I'm actually picking up my friend Michelle and we're going on a little coffee date and it's kind of one of those dates that have been rescheduled for weeks and weeks and weeks. Every time we make a plan then one of us something comes up and we have to keep cancelling it. So we are determined not to cancel this one. So I just write that down in a half box and also the coffee cup was from her freebie sheet. After putting the next glitter header down I just put a full box down which is this one with the cat so cute and then underneath I put the short ombre checklist because I know there's going to be a few things that I want to pick up while I'm out already and then I obviously have to mark down that my children have got homework to do and I just used a kind of orange quarter box and just write down homework. For Thursday I just put down my glitter header and I used a book first coffee sticker. These stickers come on a sheet which are also from Paper Chic Plans and then underneath there I just put a half box because I'm going to be doing housework all day. Very boring but it kind of needs to be done. So um, all I done was just put a little poppet there from the home life sheet and then filled up the next section with my full box because I'm not going to be doing anything else. I'm not going anywhere either um, but I do want to do some printing and cutting so I just put a orange quarter box down and just write print and cut and then my sister's birthday is on the Thursday and I do want to go over and finalize the plans that I have made for her birthday so I just use a page flag with a love poppet and then I just write down sister birthday plans and then flipping over to next half of the week I'm putting down my black header and then a gold half box to write down that it was my or is my sister's birthday and then of course I used a little birthday poppet there too 
And then underneath I just put my next header and then I used two full boxes to make a toolbox. That way in case she wants to do something else on her birthday. So as I wouldn't have any other plans I done this so I wasn't left with a gigantic blank empty space in my planner. Um, and it was just really lucky that these two boxes matched up perfectly. And then at the bottom there, I just wrote down that obviously my children have got homework to do still. So I just wrote that down on a grey quarter box. And then moving on to Friday, I just started with a gold glitter header. I've also got a build due on this day and she does have two build due stickers that come in the kit. So I just wrote that one down. And I also put down a page flag with a little poppet holding the laptop because I wanted to film next week's plan with me on the Friday while it's nice and quiet. And it's also my new release day. So I created almost like another quarter box just with two pieces of washi. And then I put the little bat sticker down that came with the deco on the kit and just put down new release. I put down my full box here which says boo y'all. That never sounds right when I say it with my English accent. I feel like I need to say boo y'all. <laughs> then I put down my black glitter header and a half box because we're actually having a girls night out so I used one of the poppets from the birthday sheet with the little cocktail. So for the weekend I just used the same washi as I did up at the top just as a background behind my weekend banner although I put it down a little bit lower this week and then I put another half box down with a page flag and a little poppet that's from the nope sheet and because in England we are having to hand in all of our old one pound coins because the new ones are they're already in and we've been using them, it's just that the old ones won't be valid anymore after the Saturday. I put the full box down with the scary haunted house and I use an appointment label to mark down that my daughter needs to start on her portfolio. So I need to make sure I've bought that one. And then for the Sunday, I put a book first coffee sticker because we are having to apply for colleges for my daughter, very scary. And then for Sunday, I just put down one of my new checklists that are already pre-written. It's so much quicker without having to write everything down. And then I just put another glitter header and a full box at the bottom there. And I'm just straightening up the half box that I put on the Saturday. And then moving on to the sidebar, there's a toolbox that came with the kit. So I didn't have to use any washi. I just used the full box or the full toolbox just by itself. And then I'm using my habit tracker. So I use the gray one first with a piece of washi in between. And then I'm going to use the orange one. I had a full box left which has got a picture of the scary haunted house so I just used that to use up some of the space and then I put another piece of washi down and just wrote next week and I'm just using this kind of short checklist. I've got a lot of birthdays in my family in October and there's two more next week and I wasn't sure what to do at that gap at the bottom so while I was thinking about that I just used my Halloween countdown sheet and I just used those all the way along the top that way I could use the deco at the bottom and in and around because last week I'd done it the other way around I put the countdown at the bottom so I'm just going to go ahead and put some deco down I love this full girl so I just chopped off her legs and I felt really mean but it just looked a lot better without the legs on there and then I just put lots of deco kind of mostly at the bottom where there was a lot of gaps I feel like my voice is now going again <laughs> I also took some of the round icons and put them kind of in my spread where they matched. I always forget to use these as I'm filling out my planner. It's not until the end and I'm like, oh yeah, I've got lots of these little circle icons to use. So after I'd done all of that, I went back to the space that was left at the bottom and I decided to use a lot of the washies that I had left and I kind of made up a pattern, if you like, to make a box. And then I just topped it off with a large poppet from the Halloween sheet. And then right at the bottom, I had one more appointment label. So I just stuck that down and then took the word creepy and just put that on top. And that was it really for this week's spread. I do have some stickers left. I thought with the mini kit I was going to use every single sticker and then still want more. But I do have some left so if you are ever wondering if a mini kit is going to be suitable for you then you can see how many stickers I've used and I've got some left. But here's a close up of this week's spread. If you liked it then please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you haven't yet already make sure you hit the bell notification, the little bell icon. That way you won't miss any of my uploads. I hope you all have a lovely week and I will see you on Monday. Bye guys!